One more to go. I think you got her. <laughs> Good job, Dick. The buck right there. First one down, they got a nice doe. For all of you who don't know me, my, I'm Steve from Wyoming. We're going to make a little sneak on a whitetail doe over here. It's doe season. Got Dick with me and we're with Nelson Outfitters out of Sheridan, Wyoming. And uh, today would have been my son's 34th birthday. I've got his 243. He passed away a few years ago. But I've got his 243 here and I, I thought it would be neat to see if I could kill a kill a deer for him so it's kind of what we're looking at doing today we each have two doe tags so Dick's already got one and see if I can find one around the corner here so stick around so for that bubbler Thank you. 
<laughs> what? No. Scalpel. Big guy to help you with. You get my knife dirty, did you, bud? I think she's still running. She's going down right now. Now she's down. Good job. We'll grab her and drag her. No, we'll drive down. There. Hang on. Yeah, just touch the screen. Where's your other camera? You did. More editing. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I got the fall in it. I think this is heavier than mine. Yeah. Might fall again. The good news is you did not trip on a barbed wire fence. Oh. It's a woven wire. No, no. <laughs> yeah, it makes me feel much better. <laughs> Ready? Let's snag something, all right. Yeah, she's heavy. You always want a handout. <laughs> you sure you're all right after that? Yeah. Okay. Looks like you hit pretty hard. Well, it's on my elbow, so. Luckily, your head broke your fall. Yeah. That's what happens when you when you're looking with a camera instead of looking where you're walking. Just wonder if it knocked my scope off. I hit pretty hard on the gun. You can shoot mine if you want. 
Okay, warning to all. When you walk across the country like this, watch where you're walking. Chipping on that wire. Might have knocked the scope off, I don't know. But didn't do it any good. Didn't do me any good either. One more to go. More coming out of the bottom. Okay, white tail go. Probably just right there, left of that ring post. How's that? Well, we finally ended up with the day with our four does that we wanted. They were back here. We get them in the, got them in the back of his rig. I want to thank Steve and Nelson Outfitters for letting us come out and get some meat for our freezer. And Dick for coming all the way from Utah, helping me out. Um, it is a, kind of a special day for me, um, using my son's 243 on his birthday, and uh, it really means something to me. And I hope he's up there and have been watching us and cheering us on. So, thanks for sticking around, appreciate it. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that like button, give me some comments. And uh, if you're ever in Wyoming, you come see Nelson Outfitters out of Sheridan. Thanks now, adios.